Hello. In this session, we're going to understand DNS reconnaissance, another kind of information gathering. So, to understand reconnaissance, we need to understand domain name system. I'm going to give you a quick introduction about DNS because there are already YouTube videos available, blogs available, websites available for DNS to understand. So, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction about DNS. What is it? So, so understand that there are different services over the internet and for every specific service there is a specific server available and every server has an IP address attached to it. So if you call any service then a server is going to respond right. So if you are interested like in Facebook or maybe in Twitter or maybe in YouTube so you're gonna call like www.facebook.com and the server is going to respond. So how are you gonna call these servers? Well, you see that for addressing mechanism, we allocate IP address to server. So you're going to call these server with the help of IP address. So I'll, I'll show you an example. So if this is a Chrome and in the URL bar, you generally type uh, www. This is you type www.google.com. But however, your server is going to not respond uh, if you type this google.com without DNS, right? Uh, we need to type the IP address like this okay and then YouTube is gonna call you back now if there are million services uh, available over the internet then definitely there are million server servers available so you cannot remember each and every IP address of the servers it is not possible right not possible for a human brain to remember all these IP addresses so there is a simple solution to do a simple solution has been available and which is known as domain name system so it sits between you and your server here this is a dns which sits it is an intermediator it sits between you and your server right so now if you type www.facebook.com then dns is actually a, a kind of machine which can map your domain name which means the www.facebook.com into something called as ip address so it is a mapping machine right so inside this domain name system there is a there is a there is a mapping okay there is something called as lookup tables which will map the domain name into the ip address known as forward lookup and then again ip address to domain name uh, or the response with the help of a reverse lookup all right so this is basically the domain name system which will trans translate your domain name into the specific ip address so that your server going to understand and then again uh, translate the IP address to the domain name or the specific response uh, with the help of reverse look, lookup so that this machine can understand. So the next question is why do we need it? Well the first reason I already told you that I, we cannot remember numeric data or any IP addresses so we need some mapping machine so this is that machine. The second thing is suppose that google is on server one right now but in maybe after two or three days oh sorry maybe two or three years that server is not responding server one is not responding maybe it is crashed or you know it is uh, uh, obsolete so i need to change that server right but uh, if you remember the ip address of server one then you have no idea that google actually changed that server one to server two okay this migration you never know so instead of that, if you remember www.google.com only, then you do not, do not need to worry about this migration. So in case a website web server gets migrated or changed, you can uh, you do not need to worry about it. Uh, this can be handled by your DNS only. So these are the two important uh, you know part by which DNS has been integrated into the internet network or network. So in the DNS system, why it is important? Uh, because this DNS consist of several you know information uh, that can carry from one part to the another part so these are something called as uh, they, they, these are known as record types okay and these record types are basically dns records and having so many informations available in these record types so they they are actually it is um, little little only small record types i have provided but if you go to this website you will get a whole lot of uh, you know different record types let me open this um, i'm sorry i think yeah, this one there's a whole lot of record types you can you can see this you can use it uh, to gather as much 
information from the DNS, right? So uh, next thing is how your DNS is gonna work. Well, DNS uh, can be worked with with the help of simple, uh, you know, these uh, charts. You can see this that this is your machine and which is querying uh, from the browser that I want to open www.yahoo.com. By the way, the machine IP address is this. Now what will happen? This query, this yahoo.com request is going to be sent to the ISP which is known as internet service provider and this ISP has something called as cache. So if the request is for the second time yahoo.com, if you are searching this yahoo.com for the second time, then definitely this ISP has uh, this request in the cache earlier, right? If it is in the cache, then it will, I, then this ISP directly open that web page in your computer. But if this yahoo.com request is the first time you, if you are if you are querying, then this ISP have no idea that where exactly this yahoo.com. In this case, your ISP is going to go for DNS and then it will query to something called as root servers. And there are, I think, 13 root ser servers available uh, all over the world. And this root server actually do not have any idea about yahoo.com, but it has an idea about top level domains. So it will directly uh, tell this uh, ISP that I know that where exactly this .com or the top level domain uh, sits. You can query for the TLD. So it will again query to, to the top level domain for the .com. And this TLD will say that I know the authoritative server which handles this, uh, you know, complete name. So it will again query the authoritative server uh, then this name server has an idea that where exactly this yahoo.com or what is the IP address of it? What is the IP address of that yahoo server? So the phi is going to be the response of the yahoo server IP address and then ISP is gonna uh, go for the web server of the yahoo uh, because he's having the IP address now and then web server will respond back directly that in your in your browser and the web page of yahoo.com gonna open. So this is a simple flow of DNS. Now the question is how basically we can gather, how basically we can reconnaissance, we can gather the information, how we can do that. Well to do that we have a very simple uh, tool available in the windows or you can use in Linux as well, no issue. It is known as NSLOOKUP, I'm sorry. So NSLOOKUP gonna uh, you know gather information about your uh, DNS information. So how, how we can use it? So you just need to type NSLOOKUP and then hit enter then if you want to go for any of the record type then how we can use record types you need to type set type equals to any record type if you remember so I remember a a will basically gives you the IP address of a 32 bit integer IP address of that host that you are gonna provide so I hit enter and then I am gonna provide the domain name to which you want to know the IP address www.google.com let's say and then hit enter. You get an address now here. You can see that uh, I'm interested in google.com IP address and I, I, I get the IP address of the uh, uh, google.com. You can 172, let me try this if it is working, 172 dot, it is right, 216160, sorry, 217.160.164. Type that the Google page is gonna open, you can see here. Yeah? So this is the uh, this is the record type A. The same way you can do set type equals to A A A A, which will give you the IPv6 address of the uh, domain www.google.com. If I do that, you will see that IPv6 address gonna give me. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I need to again uh, NS lookup. Now go for the uh, next. Uh, uh, record type. Let's say if I am interested in mail at mail server of a domain, I want to know that what kind of mail servers an organization is handling. So I can simply type set type equals to mx and then www.google.com. So this is the mail server, responsible mail server which handles your mail in the organization, right? So next, if you are interested in something called as name server, you can use a set type equals to NS, which is a name server. Let's say www. Uh, maybe uh, twitter.com, and 
oh these are the name different canonical uh, different canonical name server actually not canonical name servers these are different name servers available uh, you know uh, for the twitter.com and you can see the different ip addresses are available for the specific name server right which is good this is a good information i can go for these each and every uh, you know name server and find more deeper information about the twitter.com this is good right you can also go for set type equals to c name and c name is basically canonical name the alias as you can say and type www.facebook.com let's say then you will get some canonical name for the facebook.com right so this is the way you can reconnaissance uh, you can practice on it for the different record types with the help of command set type equals to the record type name and then just give the domain name okay and it will ns lookup will fetch out the information uh, of that specific record type that you had given i hope you like it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next session